Hello and welcome back everybody, nice to see you again. I've got a job to do today, I've got some bits of wood. If my other videos already come out you might know this, but I was waiting for some java fern, some trident java fern. So I've got a couple of bits of wood that I've taken out of the scape behind me and I'm going to attach some plants to it. So if you're only here because I've titled the video something clickbaity like best way to attach plants to wood. So there's three main ways you can attach plants to wood. If it's got a good bit of rhizome, which is the thick stemmy bit down at the bottom where you would expect the roots to be, you can use super glue, something like this, which is a Gorilla Glue, upside down, but you know what I mean. It's the gel kind, anything with Ceranolite or Cryolite, um, that works fine. You basically put a little dot on the wood where you want it to go and then put the plant on top, hold it for a few seconds, job done. You can do that as well with a bit of cotton, just wrap it round fairly loosely, or you can do my favourite technique, which is to find a little crevice and just kind of wedge it in there. So I've got a few plants here. The Java Fern is one with a rhizome, so I'm going to use the super glue for that. I've got some Bulbitis and I've got some uh, Crypts here. The Crypts, traditionally, don't try this unless this video's been out a year ago and it's definitely worked. The crypts should really be planted in substrate, but I'm going to try attaching them to some wood to see how that goes. Because a few people have suggested that that worked quite well. These I just got off eBay. Um, this is very well packaged. Adult proof packaging. So what I'm looking to do is expose some individual plants. Um, and you can see some rhizome, so like there for instance, that's a little bit of rhizome. And that's the bit that I would put the glue on, or that's the bit I would try to attach to the wood when I put the glue on. So this might be a better example. So that's one uh, plant, and you can see there this long bit, that's the rhizome. So that would be, for instance, suitable for just plonking on there in a little groove. And tucking that in and I could probably get away with that just popping that in the aquarium and that would catch and would hold on but I'm going to put in some glue because I might mess around and move things around and it makes it a little bit easier but first job is to separate all the plants so as I'm ready to go the problem with the plants with rhizomes is if you plant them in substrate they can and they, well, this won't happen every time but they can uh, rot if the rhizomes buried so it'll look fine for a couple of months probably and then that's you some dead plants on your hands so this one I'm actually just going to wedge in place somewhere where I quite like it and then take a little dot of super glue and just where just where it's going to touch in here I'll put a little dot of super glue press the rhizome to it. I'll probably take the second plant, see if I can use the same bit of super glue. The good thing about the super glue is it dries really quickly so it actually reacts with the water. It will turn white um, but it sets pretty much instantly when you do it like that. I tend to give it, I don't know, if I was doing this quickly I'd do it maybe 30 seconds and then plop it, plop it in the water. I've never seen anyone use rock wool with java fern before. So hopefully this will be quite a quick video, we'll call it a quick tip Tuesday, I've no idea if it's going to come out on a Tuesday or not, but there you go. Everybody else does it so I'm sure it's fine. Um, I'm also going to attach a little bit of bulbitis in there as well. Now that's mostly roots here in this one. In fact I might wait until I put this in place and I can see where I want it. So my idea is to have this long bit pointing fairly vertical. So it's just see, imagining how the plants will come up. Because this will probably be the front. So I'm just going to keep going through this adding plants as I can see fit. So here you can see the crypts I've attached 
by finding a little tiny crevice in there that I can just wedge them in lightly and they're fairly secure in there so I can give that a tug and that's fine if I wanted to I could go in afterwards just at the edge of that crevice and put a blob of super glue just to hold them in place not on the roots themselves but more to fill the gap of the, the crevice and that would hold them in place so there we've got we need to figure out the orientation for that one but I'll add in a few more bits of the java firm so this one nice big long rhizome and I can use that itself to attach further bits afterwards but it fits just nicely on this little bit here so I'm going to put a dot of super glue on fairly generous he says as he runs out of super glue a nice big long rhizome hold it against it and then after a few seconds That's fairly secure and I can then use that rhizome itself to attach further bits. So I managed to get away without using any of the cotton for this one because it's a pain in the bum to be honest tying the knots in it. But if you do have to use that firm but not too firm, uh, it's one of those kind of oxymorons. You want it firm enough that it's not going to fall off and float away but not too firm that it's going to suffocate it and cause problems. So now it's just about positioning and trying to remember where I wanted to put these and trying to unstick my fingers which are now covered in super glue. So in my head I had this kind of arrangement planned, these two poking up through the middle. Let's see how close I can get to that. Hmm, no, that's not quite what I wanted. Move this one nearer the front because it has more plant diversity, if you like. So there you go, that's a few options for you of how to attach um, plants to your wood, um, all without innuendos as well. Don't worry if it does show the little white streaks from the super glue because it will eventually go to algae. A couple of weeks tops, uh, it will just blend into the wood or the plants itself. That's how you attach the plants. I can't help you make it look good obviously because I'm going to sit and play around this for a few more hours because it doesn't quite look like what I had in my mind but that's the beauty of it you get to mess around with us forever and a day so as always hit that subscribe button give me a like give me a dislike let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time